this is Foxy. You might have seen her before. She is not only my car, she is my favorite travel companion. She gets me to amazing places, places I would have never been able to visit without her. She is such a reliable machine. Well, she's a Land Rover. She does break down sometimes, you know, but it's part of the, it's part of the game. So yeah, I had to fix her a couple of times, but it brought us closer together. She even has an Instagram account. That's so, that's how much, yeah, that's how much I love her. I fell in love with her the first day I saw her. I took care of her, pimped her up a bit, you know, tweaked her exactly the way I want it. And I turned her a little bit into a home. Yep, you heard that right. This is my house these days. I live inside Foxy, that sounds weird. Anyway, let me give you a tour of the house. I know, you're right, you're right. I should have, I should have cleaned her, you know, would have been nice for this video to have her all, you know, clean and stuff. I'm just talking to myself, there's, n there's no one there. There's, no, there's no one there. This is not one of those glorifying van life videos. I'm going to show you exactly how it is right now. I didn't clean it up. I didn't like, shit flies around when I drive this car around in the field, like here. So this is Foxy, and I'm gonna show you the unfiltered version of my van life. So you wanna be hardcore with your hat to the back, talking about the gaps in your way. All right, let's start with the beginning. This is a Land Rover Defender 110 TD5 um, from 2001. For all the uh, geeks out there who wanted to know, I tuned her a bit so she's a bit more powerful and sounds a lot more awesome. Let's have a look at the modifications on the outside. There we go. One of the most important modifications on this car, which is this beautiful sheep skull. Um, it, uh, it gets a lot of attention from the tourists. They love it, they like to take selfies with it. Um, so it's definitely a win-win. I got some beefy 35 inch mud terrain tires on there. They're 12 inch wide. They get me to places. I had to put these wider fenders on there because the tires were sticking out a bit. Then on top of the car, I put a roof rack, which I partly made myself out of wood. Looks pretty awesome and stores a lot of awesome shit. Let's have a look what's on there. So we got some uh, extra fuel in these jerry cans up here. Then I have a solar panel, which is hooked up to a secondary battery system and a snowboard that's on there right now. And then on the side, I have this shovel. All right, I upgraded these uh, seats with new paddings and leather or fake leather, whatever this is. Uh, then I made this new cubby box, which is a bit messy as you can see, uh, but I, remade this one completely, made it wider, and uh, covered it in recycled red leather from a couch. And I got a battery switch up here where I can decide what batteries I'm using or charging. Pretty old school. I like it to be simple. No extra electronics or, or computers de deciding what I do. No, I want to decide myself which batteries I'm using and which ones I'm charging so I am not getting in trouble in the morning when I wake up and I want to start the car. And I built myself this center console because the previous one was shitty as well. Uh, same red recycled letter from the couch. And then I got a bunch of buttons. Um, these are for the cruise control. These are the exterior lights and these are interior lights. I got some USB ports to charge stuff. I got a radio connected to a subwoofer in the back. Battery one, battery two. People always ask me what these rocket launchers are for. The rocket launchers, what did you think? They're to launch rockets. This first one is to connect the LED spots to the high beams. So I have some extra light. This one is to engage the cruise control in case there's something wrong, you can just switch it all off for safety. And this one doesn't do anything yet. And then I built myself this uh, beautiful shelf up here, uh, which holds my radio to communicate with other 4x4s. And if my friends don't have one, I can just give them the handheld one. I have this picture hanging up here of myself and uh, some people I did a project with. 
miss them, miss these kids. Let's hang out soon. But of course, the most important part is the back of the car. Um, that's where I live, that's where I eat, that's where I sleep, that's where I watch movies, that's where I read. All right, so welcome to my crib. Let's turn on the lights. Let's bring in some lights. Oh yeah, let's bring some lights. I got some more lights. I got some more lights. Oh, I know, I know these lights are very cheesy for van life, but they make a difference. They really do make a difference. It's a lot cozier and uh, it's a car. So you want to make it cozy. Fucking hell. Top, top. All right, ready to roll. She gets me to places. 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 She... She...